ready for that. Um... I think it's gonna be pretty pretty awesome. I hear that it's gonna be just a lot of green bats. It's just all green bats, so get ready for that. All right, we got our first, uh, we got our start here, and it's a blood shop right off the bat, and an okay blood shop. I think that, I don't know if that's worth the bomb. I know some racers would not, oh, go back! Transmute the blood shop. You got two items sitting there waiting to be transmuted. Although I guess you won't be able to take one of them because it'll be half a heart and a half. But you have a blood weapon. Is anyone gonna go back and transmute? Oh, looks like Gun Lovers is. And a helmet. Not a very good uh, transmute though, unfortunately for them. Yeah, free helmet's pretty cool. But yeah, could be a lot better than that. I mean, it's, it's, it's underwhelming, but it is, it's, at the same time, it is safety. And yeah, I think it's worth the extra couple it. beats. Who's confused? People are confused. Hey, Fishy. All right. Fishy wants to know what's happening, so I'm going to explain it to you. Also, I heard rumor on the street is that Fishy might be interested in joining the August conduit. So just putting it on the line there, Fishy. I'm just laying it out there. I'm putting Call it out. on the official Condor conduit stream that's going to be saved onto our YouTube page. So me saying that... Yeah, anyway... Basically, what's going on here is we have eight racers. If you check the bracket, you'll see everything there. Um, we have eight racers. They are each racing two races in the first round. We're giving out points based on how far they make it. So that's what we call flag plant. You, When you die, you plant your flag. And whoever plants their flag the farthest gets three points. Then you have two points for the next farthest and one point for the next and zero for the last. But if you finish a race, you get one more point. You get a bonus point. So, like, if you finish and you're first, you get four points. But if you finish, or sorry, if you don't finish, but you are still first with your flag plant, you get three points. So, basically, given all the points after the everybody plays their two races, which is um, a total of four races um, for the conduit. So, after this is the third race. We, race. we have one more race after this. Um, after all four races, we're going to take a look at the scores, and the top four racers are going to move on to the semifinals. However, if there's a tie and we're not totally clear on who the top four is, we will be doing a tiebreaker. Our tiebreaker. Tiebreaker! <laughs> Whoa! Our tiebreaker is five minutes, uh, sudden death, and it's very, very fun. So there you go. Also, we have dagger phasing. Two of our racers with a dagger facing, two of our racers with blood spear. Very exciting. I, I, lo I love the tiebreakers. I think giving the racers five minutes to just get as far as they can, that create there's so much mental game to that. Yeah. That how fast you go, you know, the pace you set. It's sudden you know, death, you so you can't go too ham or you die, and then, yeah, it's great. I love the tiebreakers. They're way fun. We ran an entire tournament like that, and it was not well received because it was too stressful. But listen, guys, we do a little bit for the entertainment of the fans. We do a little bit for the to make sure it's nice and fair for the racers. That is a titanium rapier, one of the best weapons in the game. Uh, pretty nice. I mean, I'd probably keep the dagger of phasing, which it appears Revelize did not. But I guess dagger phasing isn't quite as safe. Gun lovers dying back into zone one. Still. Yeah, I think with the titanium rapiers, are so much more common that... Uh... You just can become very comfortable with it. It's a very, very safe, comfortable weapon. The yeah, dagger of phasing, I don't come across it that often, to be honest. And so I don't have a ton of experience with it. So it can be a little bit, you know, you you forget about like how much damage it can actually do. Yeah. Is my microphone getting all quiet no, as well? You're good, you're good. I like it. It was nice. loud when you said tiebreaker, but that's okay. I was hyped about it too. So it's all good. Man, very nice freeze strap from Dark Freak there. Definitely going fast still. Not quite as fast. He's about a minute slower than he was last run. But look at that. He's got the uh, Ring of Might. Sorry. Uh, charm. Might Charm. What is it called? Strength Charm. That's the one. Uh, which is amazing with his current weapon. Oh, and a Blood Shovel and a Crown of Thorns. This is a just delicious. Oh, he's got a bit of a YOLO slide here. Works out for him. That could have been very spoopy. But he handles it very nicely. And really nipping at his heels is Revelize, the other racer with four points in this tournament. So, oh, and that is a ring of ring of phasing right there. And he opts not to take it. I may have taken it there. 
forgetting he's only got two damage, not being able to do any damage to that, the front end of that uh, Black Skelly. And a little Ice Rink made for Dark Freak there as he scoots around. I do love Dark Freak's current build. The three, five damage, that's three up close, five at a distance damage rapier is so good for Dark Freak. So good for anybody, really. Yeah, I mean, I'm very surprised to see him going as fast as he is. Uh, I was wondering if he'd be able to repeat his crazy time from before, and while he's not on pace for it, he's still going very fast. He's still doing a great job so far. Yep, though he has... Uh, no, no, sorry, he is still in the lead. And actually, I was going to say, Note has surpassed Revelize. Revelize took a long time on that 3-1, uh, and Note is already on 3-2. So Note is actually officially in second place. With Dark Freak but, in the lead, and uh, Revelize anything can happen at any time. That's Absolutely. Oh yeah, we're still very much uh, at the beginning here. Accidentally popping his uh, shield or ring of shielding, Dark Freak loses that. Now he's running right up the middle. Oh, a little bit of thinking there, and does end up getting hit. So he's not going to be getting any items out of his boss fight there. You need to flawless it to get your items. I do like that Gunlovers has a three damage dagger phasing though. That is one of the po strongest possible weapons you can have. It just basically one shots pretty much everything. Including like Skeleton Riders, which is pretty cool. Yeah, that is, a, that is, a, that is an essential thing. Yeah. The and Skeleton Riders, they can, they can zone in on you so fast and just overwhelm you. Yeah, they're super fast. Uh, the Blade Masters also one shotting those is pretty dandy. And there's that phasing. Does he take it? No, he doesn't. Dude, wait, you've got the dagger phasing. Whoa, dude, no. Scrub. That'd be the combo. The wombo That would combo be the combo. Rip. Oh, I'm so salty right now. I didn't even realize. Ah, oh, it's too good. He's got a torch too. What are you doing, man? Ah. Can't do it, can't do it. Well, that's right. If, if, if he's comfortable and can finish the run, I think that's what matters. Obviously, but the phasing combo is so much better. <laughs> oh, it's all good. It's all good. This is this is uh, how it goes. It's fine. Oh, and a very clutch uh, food shop for Dark Freak there. Oh, that's gonna come in handy. Yeah, bomb, bomb him, bomb him. So very hard. nice. Yep. So he gets himself the six full heart containers. That's delicious. Considering he was at half a heart right before. Especially having yeah, that, that blood shove, that's gonna that's gonna really help him out. Yeah, not having any armor is bad. I mean, he has the crown of thorns for some healing, but I mean, zone four can hit you so hard, yeah. and if you get in a bad spot, you just you're just getting trapped. There's that phasing again, dude. Takes the oh nice gun lovers gets himself the wombo combo. Oh, he's listening in. He's listening. Yep. He knows what's up. It's so good. It's especially good in Zone Four. Yeah, I was I was screwing around uh, a couple days ago, and I got a, a Zone One uh, Wombo combo, and I just I felt bad because I'm like, any speedrunner on the planet would be like, <gasps> here we go, and I'm just like, I don't really. Feel Do you feel like this. you wasted it? Or did you not use it? I, I mean, I used it for a bit, but I you know I took my time. I wasn't really trying to go fast, but I yeah. just I felt bad. Oh, I wouldn't. I wouldn't feel too bad about it. I mean, the wombo combo is rare, but it's not that bad. Yeah, you can do a lot of damage, but I mean, it is definitely uh, I that think it fear though. Sure. The fear usage. I love it. Bombing the dragon just to get it over with. That was kind of slow, and yeah, Gunlovers is definitely uh, definitely way behind. He's got the wombo combo to try and catch up, but it might be too little, too late now. Bombing the dragon. That that one was for Ed. That was for. That Ed. was for Ed. My boy. All right, and Dark Freak finishes in a 902. A little bit more what you'd expect with Conduit. That makes a little more sense. Absolutely, it was still very very good pace. These very rings well though, swapping out is a ring of courage for the ring of wonder. I didn't even notice the ring of wonder. What is this seed? It's got the wombo combo, ring of wonder. It's all in here. Careful though, Revelize. You're taking some bad damage there on that goo. Goes for the Ring of uh, Courage. I feel like... 
I'd take courage over wonder, to be honest. I if don't I know. have a rape, the if damage I have a, if up, a... you get two damage with wonder. If and... I have an obsidian rapier, I'm taking courage. Yeah. You can do so much, especially I like guess. middle later. So. It's so late I'm... game. It's hard to say. Yeah. I mean, I I would never fault anyone for taking the ring of wonder. It's an amazing item, but I feel I feel like with courage. I, I can I can I feel more safe, to be honest. Oh, that's fair. Totally fair. Oh, and down goes Gun Lover, oh. dying to the Queen. I think he's calling it quits there, I guess. Well, if he had the Ring of Wonder oh, right no, there. Oh, no! Allies goes down! Ah. Dropping like flies. Oh, no. It's okay, Gun Lovers. Don't be too upset. It's fine. You're fine. Everything's fine. This is fine. You're not out. Gun Lovers. Jump back you're in. Still just you're still good to go. Type in the seed. You got this. The seed is right here. I'll give it to you in chat. Note is this is the most absurd thing I've seen in a tournament. In yeah. Did he throw his dagger phasing? He's got one bomb to play. He's scooting though. Oh, he could have made I'd... a break for it there. Oh, oh, oh. He just needs the Benny Hill theme song playing man, right man, now. Man, man, man. Why didn't he leave? Get out of there, dude. I don't... What, what is he trying to you accomplish here? You know what? Here? He might be waiting out the time, but now he's... Oh, he's waiting out the time, but why? Oh, this could... Oh. <gasps> oh, huh? this is... This is the most intense thing I've seen in... Oh, oh, oh! Dude! Just... The Wasted <laughs> Beats! Oh, the harpy gets him! Oh my oh. god! And then there were three. Wow. <laughs> I I never thought I'd see something like that happen. In Was that much. for two? Because I don't think he really had much of a chance of getting a weapon for three. No, I... I no. What did he do? Did I he throw to... his dagger? That was that was insane. I'm I'm actually surprised it lasted that long. That was some Condor level yakety sacks, right? There. That was some serious yakety sacks. That was amazing. I loved that. I'm sad he didn't make it through. That would have been fun. But I mean, he had one bomb and then he got hit, so he had no bombs because he had the blood magic. Yeah, and uh, yeah. If he made it to floor. the next floor, though, that would have been a flag plant on the next floor. Yeah, I think that's what he had to be going for because. He was. He wouldn't have made it to the shop with what he had. I mean, no, unless, unless the shop was, was like the next room, or if there was like a conjure shop. I'm not sure if that's already been seen. I don't, maybe, maybe he could have yakety sacked his way over there. Who knows? Like that would have been even more impressive. That would have been very impressive. Can we have a yakety sax tournament? That. <laughs> Throw away your dagger and go for it. Well, that's basically dove. Let's have a dove tournament. Yakety sex. I know some people would be into that. Uh, by the way, I just noticed that our refs are keeping track of their flags where they're being planted. Um, so the current winner is Revelize, who has a 4-3 flag. Uh, Note has a 4-2, and Gun has a 3-4. Still got uh, six and a half minutes. Five and a half minutes. Dove score. Oh, yeah. We can do Scorian again. I really like the score tournaments. I think these are really fun to watch. There's so much that goes into it. Yeah, it's really kind of crazy. I agree with you. I like the score tournaments. I didn't think they were going to work at first. There's a lot of stuff I didn't think was going to work in this game in, in tournaments that works. For example, Seated, for some reason. Like, now it seems ridiculous that I would even hate on that idea because Seated is so good. But at the time, I was like, I don't really see how it could be good. How it, wrong it just, I was. It works in this game. Yeah. Like everything about it just it just works. Yeah. There are other games where I disagree with seated racing. I think it doesn't work nearly as what well. What games would those be, Grom? <laughs> just kidding. You don't have to say. Oh, uh, you know, <clears throat> Crisis Three. Crisis Three, seated racing, not very good, not at all. By the way, Here I just want to give a quick shout out to the Salt Factory which currently has uh, 13 people in there. So if you want to join in at the Salt Factory, I'm sure there is plenty of 
discussion about how things are going in the tournament, you are welcome to join in. Let me just post the link to the Discord. Um, and you hop in there and uh, and you can chat it up with everybody else. Lots of good people in there. Lots of very knowledgeable racers as well. Hey, there goes a whole bunch of people just jumped in. That's awesome. It's good stuff. Good stuff. Good stuff. Oh, no. And down goes Revelize. Now, Revelize still has his flag planted. He's fairly... He's in a decent spot. It looks like the... Well, I was going to say the only person who looks like he could take it down is Note, but that's not true. Gun is also Gun in zone He's three. right there. And he's got... He's right there. He's got that phasing, which is good. It's good. He's got... He's He's got the ring, he's got the helmet, he's, he's lacking the armor, but he does have some defense. He can take a hit or two and be fine. And that's, it's very reassuring. Yeah. That's less reassuring now. Oh, he also has the, no, he has the, uh, the, the freeze necklace charm thing. The, yep, yeah, uh, frost charm. That's what it's called. That, that's, <laughs> it, yeah. Couldn't think of it either. The uh, freeze necklace thing. That's the one. All right. Yep. Lead boots. I like it. I love them. Lead boots? Yeah, they do yep. okay. They do all right. But I, By I, the I, I, Sorry, go ahead. Hmm? Go ahead. No, no. I just going to say that Dark Freak is uh, officially in the next round uh, with eight points. So I didn't, I didn't mention that earlier. But yeah, Dark Freak is definitely in with all the points you can possibly get. So yeah, he's congrats. been having a hell of a tournament. I yeah, mean, he's been playing super well. Two... Yeah, two races and within like 15 minutes, like a little bit over, like 15 minutes and some change. That's, that's too good. Get out of Conduit. <laughs> too good for Conduit. Leave. Leave. It's not fair. People just want to race. Yeah, we, uh, we don't feel as bad about saying get out of Conduit because I can't say yet. That's a compliment. Also, yes. That is also like, true. Yeah, you're. I'm, you know, it's not. Yeah, you're too good. Too good, this, man. You're too good. I can't say get no. good because you're too good. Yeah, someone, someone in the past said get good, and they're like, I'll get good, and they got too good, and then that's why we're kicking them out. Exactly. Hey, what's up, blind umpire? Uh, we missed you at the beginning there. We got some commentary going on. Well, well I know that. If, yeah, I, I think if, if Blind wants to hop in, like I know, this, like commentating conduit, like it's his baby. So I guess I that's true. That. Yeah, Blind, if you want to hop in the the commentary, we just have to hop into the other commentary booth. So if you want to jump into the salt factory or the race room, we'll pull you in. Um, that's totally yeah, I, cool. Yeah, I can hop out. I and I can I can get my pizza and I can just go back to just watching and Blind can you know do his usual good commentary. Well, up to, I'm going to leave that one up to you, Grom, on whether you want to go get pizza or if you want to hang out. We'll gladly do a three a three way. Hey, Revelize goes down. Revelize does go down, and Revelize still has that flag plant. Scrub and Gum Lovers, they are getting pretty far. They are getting close though, and remember, Revelize is the one with the four points. He's going to want to get at least a couple points, maybe. If you can. Uh, what are we looking at for time? Actually, I just noticed that it is 1830. So this is actually maybe not going to happen for either racer. Gun lovers or note the scrub has to make it to Dead Ringer to surpass uh, the flag. Because remember, the first person to plant the flag there gets precedent. So both of our racers are on 4-2, but they need to pass 4-3. So don't shop. Go. He's getting food. This is a bad plan. Don't do it. Getting the gluttony charm gun. Gotta go fast. That health might buy him enough damage to just tank his way through. But the that's lack true. Of armor... But he needs to right away. I mean, he's got he's got armor with the uh, wonder. Wonder gives you two armor. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Okay, he made it to four three, but he's got like about forty five seconds. Gotta come go. Come on, man! Come on! Fast. Come on! The pressure's on. It's not looking good for uh, Note. This is intense. All right, blind. Uh, Tank it. Oh, so, the frost charm went off. Oh, oh just rush the banshee. Is he going to make it? He, he might be able to hop in there, and this will give him second place. 
Gun Lovers goes in, and, and that should. I mean, we've also got Note actually pushing as well. I know that Revelize is just sitting there pleading with them. Please, stop. You're going too fast. We only got about 10 seconds left, so this is definitely going to go to Gun Lovers for second. Oh, the Dead Ringer kill. That Dead Ringer kill was pretty sassy. It's not going to matter. Oh, and no, the damage. I don't think it's. I think that's time. Nope. Oh, he died anyways. So Note winds up in fourth. Revelize clings on for a singular point. One point for Revelize, and that would be three points for Gun Lovers. Wow. That, that was a very, very nice run by Gun Lovers. That was right extremely there, exciting. Yeah, and Gun Lovers clutching it out. Still going. You put it together. With the victory lap, so he gets three points. That puts him up to five, which actually surpasses Revelize, who gets. Oh, no, sorry. Revelize got one point. So he's at five. Note, unfortunately, not going fiest enough and does not get any points wow what a thing that was what intense. a thing yeah that's true gun lovers actually pulled out of the game for a bit remember he like quit out of the game gg what a run there that was hype yeah he was, no he was gun lovers you got third dude no second 